Hey guys, it's Stephanie for Wednesday videos. Um, so I made another list this week, uh, as my brain fog is setting in, and I am forgetting a lot of things. So I'm writing them down. I'm going to tick them off as I go. <laughs> so I just want to let you all know um if you know or don't know uh that we have a couple of new girls actually starting our channel um so i'd like to welcome all welcome all of you girls um i'm so excited i can't wait to see your videos um i like to welcome jessica um hold on I forget their names whoopsie Hello, and I wrote them down somewhere. What? Tara. And. Is it. Miley? Miley? I don't know if I said your name right. And I'm sorry if I haven't. But I think. I don't know. So three or four of you's well anyway scrap that i'll start again um so just want to welcome all the new girls onto the team either that is three of you's three or four of you's <laughs> i don't remember uh brain fog is setting in again um how long do you find me list before i forget so yeah so welcome to the team posse channel um i hope you have a great experience um, as I started there, at 10th of July I started, um, so, yeah, so it's weird for me being a new girl, not to be a new girl anymore, um, so I hope this channel helps you along your way, and hope that you feel that you are helping someone else out there in your condition, as I can't wait to hear from you i can't wait to watch your videos um so if any have posted videos this week i am so sorry i haven't got around to doing that as i have been very busy this week um and i will tell you all about that now so as for tuesday like i said last tuesday i was going to the hospital and i went to see my cardiology about the new tablet that I started on. Um, I haven't really noticed a big difference on being on this tablet. Um, but one thing I have noticed is the pain in my face that I was getting, which was really severe pain, has actually stopped and gone away in my face. So that is a positive point. Um, but the pain has now gone to my legs, which I don't know if that's worse, but as I get a lot of leg pain anyway um it's not as bad as it was in the face because when it was there my face swelled up um i couldn't move my face i couldn't talk my eyes were running it just wasn't it just wasn't normal or anything so i'm so glad that that has gone so we were talking about that and he said he would like me to keep them on keep keep stay on the tablet um so i'm in the same dose as i started off with and he says he won't see me until six months so that was a good thing another thing is he said he was talking to a rheumatologist in alton the galvin hospital here in Derry, um and he was talking to a boy that is interested in pots and eds together as i'm not under one which is kind of weird to for me not to be under a rheumatologist or a physiotherapy um i know a lot of you girls are but i'm only under a cardiology which is my pots doctor dr purvis um so he basically said he'd be interested in taking me on so my doctor cardiology is now going to refer me on so hopefully in the next six months to 12 months i'll get to see him and see where we can go from here as my cardiologist said, he would like to see me get out of the wheelchair. Um, 
as I do respect that, it's just the way he said it, we want to get you out of this chair, I'm like, huh? As my OT, Kjarn, has said, you need a wheelchair. So, mixed messages, again, is really hard, like, cardiology, he do, he'll do this with your heart, not your legs. So, in one way, you're like, you don't know what you're talking about. And then, another way, you like, oh, he does, he's pots, but I'm his severe pots patient. He doesn't have another case like mine. He doesn't have anyone that's ended up in a wheelchair because of their pots. Um or autonomic nervous system so I'm one of his extreme cases at the moment um yay for me so yeah so that was on Tuesday morning I was in the hospital and we had to wait forever to see him I don't know why they give you appointments and then your appointment is they see you then an hour later you're like why just why but anyway I came home I wasn't well at all after that. I was exhausted from tests and stuff. So I went to sleep for an hour, got up, and then had to go back to the hospital again <laughs> to get my heart monitor. Now, the heart monitor I thought I was going to get was my sticky one. No, I didn't get that one. I got this one. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this one or what it is or what. But it's like, this is an, like a, a week long you can have this for. And say if I was having uh, palpitations, I hold it up under my chest and hold the record button, which is here. And hold that in and then it goes way away, 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 away. And it may go on for like, say 30 seconds top. And you have to hold it and keep it really, really still. So it actually is recording the tracings. But it only takes up to six recordings. <laughs> Can't count to six. Um, so then you have to phone up and say, look, I have six recordings. And you may have six recordings in an hour. So far, I've had two. Um, as with the amount of medication I'm on, I find it hard to tell that I'm having palpitations. But I know that something's going on. Um, but sometimes I don't always know something is going on to maybe after maybe I'm really, really tired. I'm like, why am I so tired? I'm like, right, maybe my heart has gone off and now I'm just uh, feeling for it. So that's another thing. Um, so with the day in hospital, I, I missed a day up in tech, which is like the first day I've missed. And I have to say that was a bit disappointing, but it's with hospital appointments, um, they don't come around as often. And when I have hospital appointments, I really, really need to go to them. So that was another thing. I needed to go to that. So there was just no question about that. Um, I also got an appointment. Uh, no, I also got a phone call this morning from the wheelchair company. And they said they have my new wheelchair ready. Um, so my new wheelchair is ready on Tuesday. Um, so I can show you guys on Wednesday my new wheelchair, which is Royal Red. Oh yeah! Um, so I'm so excited for that. Um, I get a, I get my new wheelchair on Wednesday. This goes back to the hospital. And like everything's going good. I'm just so happy. I've been waiting on my wheelchair since August. Well, since March really. I've needed a decent wheelchair and this is going to be a decent one. Um, This one's always going to be the one I'm on now. It's going to be kept as my backup wheelchair. As my new wheelchair, the wheels need changed every six weeks. So, could be waiting a while, I don't know. But we'll, we'll know more on Tuesday. Um... Yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to say, have any of you ever cut yourself and not known you've cut yourself? I cut my finger. And the blood has like, gone through the plaster. I don't know how I did it. I was lifting something. And I was doing something and my mom was like, your finger's bleeding. I was like, what? She's like, oh, shit. 
I know my finger blades, it blades for the half hour. It doesn't just stop automatically. Um, so I bought new plasters today. Neon plasters, which is this is a green, so you can see the blood. See? Even though it's like probably a tiny cut, it's is it more that I didn't feel it than anything. Um, I still don't feel it. Uh, I could have say a really massive cut of stitches or would need stitches, and I probably wouldn't feel it because my sensation has gone down a bit. As I can burn myself and not feel it until my big. A minute after it's happened, I'll be like, ah! So, yeah. Well, my video has gone over 10 minutes, which I'm so sorry. Uh, but I have to say, I was so excited about so many things. About the new girls on the channel, uh, my new wheelchair, part monitor going back on Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, I'm all good. Um, so... Yeah, I have one thing, one more thing on my list. Um, I think my body's getting run down again as I have a cold sore. I can never say that. Cold sore. On my lip here. And do you ever know when your body's run, do run down, your like tongue is like covered in white stuff? Well, my tongue is covered in loads and loads of white stuff, so I know when my body's getting unwell and sick. Now, I've only noticed that a couple of times, but normally if I, I picked up in the last few times, my body's getting run down, and I have a runny nose, and I, my chest is tightening, so I do think I'm coming down with a cold, head cold, chest infection, which I wouldn't be surprised after I have chest infections, maybe two times a month, three times lucky, <laughs> lucky, <laughs> well I'm gonna go now, so I will see you next Wednesday with my wheelchair, and I want you guys to help me name my new wheelchair, as I've named my mobility scooter Trina, Trina, she's a four wheel drive, she's called Trina, <laughs> Katrina, Katrina, ah. So I want that's what I want you to do. So I want you to watch my video and next week no, watch my video and comment below what you think I should call my new royal red wheelchair. So yeah. And oh by the way, I hope Olivia, I think I've said your name right. Not sure. I hope that you're feeling better soon. And so I send you my loves. My, my love and my hugs. Hug, air hug. So, see you guys later.